Well, I hope everybody is intimately familiar with the Viber Groomer 2, as I've showed it many different ways in recent videos. So, let's take a look at a brand new brush roll that I just acquired probably about a month ago, and I have not had the opportunity to use it yet. Genuine Royal. There we go. And if you'll notice, the brush strips, all four of them, are replaceable, and they have the so-called stiffeners in there. It's not really beater bars per se. They simply hold those tufts straight up, even to a much greater degree than the one I was using for the last, I don't know, year or two. This one right here. So it's the same bristles, same bristle pattern, but they aren't replaceable and no stiffeners. Now this thing in that thing did absolutely fantastic for sand pickup, but I wonder how does this compare with that? Now it's time to weigh our bags. Using clean paper bags for both. They've never been used for anything other than airflow tests. And the Royal Type B paper, I'm going to call that at 54.50 grams. And let's see what we have for a Sanitaire F and G. It's a little bit lighter bag, 46.27 grams. Let's take a raw measurement, the Royal, and the raw pickup is very good. Let's see here, 58.69, and then I'll subtract 54.5, and I end up getting almost 4.2 grams if I divide that for a percentage out of five, I am at 84%. Okay, so the thing is, right, that is the raw percentage. That's 84. But I now know, more or less, what this machine will actually do as far as carpet shredding. So what I will do is take 58.69 and then I subtract the estimated dry pass loss. Um, if I do two passes versus 10, I'll divide that by five. So that ends up being 0 0.15. So I take the original and subtract 0 0.15. That gives me this much. And then I go ahead and subtract the original empty weight, 54.5, I get that much, and divide that by 5, I know it's a lot of math, it rounds up to 81%. I'll just move that, there you go, 80.8 .8 or 81%. And what's so cool is, that gives us a corrected number we can deal with.
So let's see how well that Fiber Groomer 2 did. It's much gentler. So 48.62, I'll call it 48.62, minus 46.27. Well, that's that's definitely much lower than the than the Royal, isn't it? So 2.35 out of 5. Now this is raw, and I'll go ahead and just correct it here. We have 47%. So it's a much gentler brush roll. Now, that's raw. If I were to go and take 48.62 and then take off an estimated two-pass dry pass correction, it doesn't change much because 48.62 minus 0 0.02 be 48.6 and then divide, uh, actually subtract... 46.27 that changes the ratio just very slightly so we end up with 47 so not that big of a change because this Viber Groomer 2 is much gentler well it goes without saying the Royal Pro Series 9 amp with that unbelievable mega uber brush roll with the bristle stiffeners just blows everything else right out of the water as far as pickup so it certainly picks up the sand and it does it by ripping it right out of the carpet so raw pickup of 84 percent and then when you go and quote you know clean the sample so to speak take out the estimated dry pass tear out you end up with 81 percent still easily blows away anything that I've ever tested as far as two-cycle sand pickup. As far as the two-cycle sand pickup with the Viber Groomer 2, you know, I was a little disappointed. It still is pretty good, okay? It still is above average, but it's less than what I thought it would really do. But it's a much gentler brush roll. It's a shaker, not a shredder, as we found out in a previous video. Coming in at 47%, and because it's so gentle with the dry pass test, it didn't change anything. It's still at 47%. So the average for my two cycle sand pickup right now across all my machines is 38%. So both of these machines do definitely above average and the Royal does absolutely stupid level. Okay, now I've got a lot of sand left in this carpet especially on this side of the carpet and I need to go and make sure I get it all out of the carpet but I'm not going to use the Royal Pro Series because there's going to be a lot less carpet by the time I'm done so if I look back in my database and I want a machine that does great with sand in, in a hurry but leaves as much carpet as reasonably possible in the carpet I'm going to pick this
we're good.